What's going on YouTube? So today we're gonna to be doing a full day of eating on prep, 13 weeks out, three or four days out, not three or four days, but you know, 13 weeks and three or four days out from the show. Last video, you guys honestly had a lot of nice comments to say in the comment section, kind of gave me a little blushy feeling inside and made me want to make another video today. So two days later, I'm filming again, doing a full day of eating. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I woke up super late today. I woke up at what time? 2 p.m. I just had to get like a really deep sleep last night. I stayed up really late. I couldn't fall asleep, so I watched a bunch of movies. And then I woke up at 2 p.m. Now, for my meal number one, it's usually oats and eggs for breakfast with like protein mixed in with the oats. But because it's already 2 p.m., I don't want to eat breakfast because it's more, the oats make me like super full. So what I'm doing is I'm substituting meals two and three, which are very small meals for meal number one right now. And I'm switching the meals around. I don't know if you're supposed to be doing that on prep, but it's all about calories in calories out. So it shouldn't affect me too much when it comes to like meal swapping. I know meal timing before training sessions is a big deal. Like getting a certain amount of nutrients and carbs in your body before you go work out. Hopefully swapping meal number one and meal numbers two and three uh, isn't something that's going to be like horrible for me. I know I literally don't care if my clients for my coaching plan do it. Um, it doesn't really make a difference if they meal swap as long as they're eating the meals that are on the plan. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys the meals really quick. We got 90 grams of white rice. We got 210 grams of ground turkey mixed together with a little bit of sauce. Then we got 150 grams of pineapple. And then we got 110 grams of Greek yogurt mixed in with two scoops of birthday cake isolate huge sups protein powder. So that honestly tastes fucking amazing. Like when it comes to huge subs, I would say the two best protein powders that mix in with like yogurt specifically, because I've tried them all at this point, I would say it's birthday cake and Cinnabon. As far as the oatmeal, I would say like the Cocoa Madness mixes in really good with the oatmeal and so does the Cinnabon. Cinnabon just goes with everything. I don't know. They just fucking made that powder insane. Got the Diet Mountain Dew. Last time I was on prep, I kind of abused these. I'm trying to limit them this time so I don't fucking hold water this year. Yeah, I'm not going to be fucking raping about eight of those a day like last year yeah if you drink a lot of diet sodas on your preps or your cuts you're gonna be holding some water from that I'm gonna fork this shit down really quick mm. the pineapple bro never gets old man okay so the uv today is like nine i gotta take advantage of my tan i've been looking hella pasty on my instagram updates so i gotta make it a priority to get out in the sunlight i don't want to have a prep where I'm just looking like a ghost, you know? So I'm gonna go out and tan for like 30, 40 minutes, maybe an hour, depends on how long my girl wants to stay out there. It's super fucking nice out today, like holy shit. So yeah, you can see like the weather. It's fucking super sunny out. Juice, great. This is what you gotta do with this guy. He always cries at random shit. It's gonna be a fucking great day to tan, honestly. I love when it's like 100 degrees out dry heat compared to like humidity, because you just feel your skin feels amazing out there, man. And uh, the humid heat, my hair and shit would get fucked like every fucking time. And I'd walk outside, it'd be like instantly like wet, a little greasy feeling. It's a little bit of a different kind of heat here in Arizona compared to Houston or I would say like Florida, for example. Especially if you're by the ocean, you're gonna get a lot of humidity. Gotta get this little minion in his crate. Come here, little minion. He's like four pounds, so you gotta be really careful with this guy. I scoop him up. Scoop them up like this. All right. Oh, he's running away. Where are you going, Charlie? Where are you going, Charlie? You gotta go in your cage. All right, life was great today and I was about to head out. I just took a shower. Nothing feels better than going to the gym right after a shower. You feel fucking amazing. But it looks like I'm not going anywhere because what in the fuck is that? Oh my God. Look at Mr. Guilty right here. Did you shit in the house? Did you shit in the house? <laughs> You're gonna pay for that boy. That is fucking gross. Oh my God. I don't know if you know this, but he stepped in it and then he tracked it all over the floor and you're stepping in the tracks. <laughs> no shot. Yeah. I'm, s I'm not better not be stepping in anything. That's fucking gross. Look. <laughs> Weird. I stepped on that? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and Miss Princess over here is heading out. She doesn't want to clean it. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I forgot to record my last meal. I ate meal number three. It was, what was it? It was like 180 grams of ground turkey and 190 grams of white rice. That was like my pre-workout meal. And then when I get back from the gym, I'm gonna eat the meal that I swapped today, which was my breakfast meal number one, which was the eggs and oatmeal. All right, guys, I'm using this as a nose cover and this to clean it up. Got some Lysol. This is gonna be fucking disgusting, man. It's gonna be fucking gross. All right, that was fucking nasty. I just cleaned it all up though. Looking spick and span. That's one thing, if you guys are gonna have a dog, just be on the lookout for incidences like that. You're gonna have plenty. All right, boys, we just pulled up to the Muscle Factory Tempe. This ride to the gym is like about 30 minutes with traffic during rush hour, so it's kind of a pain in the ass, but it's so worth it coming out this way. It's like a nice little bodybuilding gym. We got like a posing room too, so I can start working on my posing in here for my show. I really fucking want to compete in classic, man. Like, even though I'm so close in men's physique, classic might just be the way to go. It's really competitive and it's even harder, in my opinion, to get a pro card in classic physique than it is men's physique, but it's hard nonetheless, like with physique too, because they're looking for such a specific look. I feel like my physique is literally perfect for like men's physique when, when, I, when I hit some poses like I have a perfect men's physique sometimes they'll pick the smaller guys at these national shows like last time I competed I got fourth place I held center stage the entire show ended up losing to the guys that were like genuinely like 30 pounds of muscle smaller than me my conditioning could have been better and all but like my structure and shape just had everyone smoked and there was no even there wasn't even a comparison with the amount of muscle mass i had on my frame compared to everyone else's um men's physique is looking for a very specific look i'm not knocking any of these guys just that beat me's physiques down they all looked fucking amazing i'm just saying from like a muscle standpoint of who had the most muscle mass who had the best structure and shape up there it was definitely myself and that is in zero egotistical or cocky way as regards to like who had the best look for men's physique. There was a guy up there that was a lot smaller than me, but his shape was better than mine for men's physique, actually. And he ended up winning the whole show. Uh, or not winning the whole show. He just won this art division and went to the overall and did really good in the overall. Bodybuilding is a, such a subjective sport, man. Like, I think I could do well in either classic or physique. I'm kind of just going to do both and, you know, see what happens. I'm going to give my best. And every year I bring a better, better package. And I keep telling everyone, you know, it's only going to keep getting better. And I haven't let anyone down, like literally this last show at Universe was my best package by far. Muscle mass wise, conditioning wise, just like overall, like my aesthetic was insane. And I'm looking at myself right now, like 13, 13 and a half weeks out and I'm, this is the fucking year, bro. Like this shit's on fire. I'm about to go into the gym and get this shit started up because my fucking face is itching right now on this pre. Two scoops of Wrecked and Rage, green apple, that shit's fire, man.
right, so meal number four going down. This is my biggest meal of the day. So I always like this after the gym. And it is 225 grams of white rice, 210 grams of ground turkey. As you guys can notice, most of my meals are ground turkey. It doesn't have to be that way, but I chose it because my options are chicken and turkey. And I just don't feel like cutting up chicken this prep. I don't know. I just feel like throwing the turkey in the pan, turning on the burner, throwing some seasoning on, and coming back and, you know, stirring the pot a little bit. That's how I make my turkey. It's very simple, and it's efficient, and it's healthy. So we pick turkey for, like, literally three or four of my meals. I think it's three or four. Yeah, it's three of my meals out of the six are tur have ground turkey in it. But, yeah, that's what the meal looks like. I still have two meals left today. I got one, which is my breakfast that I postponed this entire day because I just don't feel like eating oatmeal right now. It's kind of hard to put that shit down. And then I have one more meal that I always save right before bed. And it's literally just a bowl of turkey. Like there's no carbs in that meal. And I'll show you guys it when I eat it. Hopefully I don't fucking forget. I've been forgetting like to show my meals. I'm glad I got to show you this last one. This is how I have to get his energy out at night. Or else he's a spaz. It's like literally flying right now. He loves this game. Oh, it's like just a workout too. Burning like extra calories right now. He doesn't ever let go either. Oh, come on, Zeus. Can let go now. He's having a little blast right now. going on still. <laughs> He's pulling so fast. <laughs> He's not even like touching the floor. Oh, yes, I win. All right, so I did exactly what I said I wouldn't do. And I didn't film my fifth meal, which was the eggs and was the oatmeal. I had two eggs, 60 grams of oatmeal with two scoops of protein in it. Yeah, I don't know why. It's like I, I get carried away in conversations and I just don't fucking film. I got to get used to just picking up the camera. So sorry about that, guys. I wish I would have filmed the meal, but at least you guys know what I ate. That's meal number five. All right, and it's super late right now. Go do some cardio. 35 minutes to do. So I'm going to get that done every single, or what is it, five days a week I got 35 minutes of cardio due. Not bad right now, I've done a lot worse cardio in the past. That's pretty easy for me. Cardio's not bad at all right now. All right, cardio is wrapped. Got that done as you guys can see with all the sweat on my shirt. Do a little physique update right now for you guys. Raw physique in the kitchen. As you guys can see, the abs are starting to come in a little bit. Still chunky, but like this is some progress right here. Had the love handles going on the bulk, especially because I reached like 260 this off season. So shit's just coming along slowly but surely. I'm not even hungry at all. Like doesn't even feel like um anything like last prep, man. Like it's kind of weird, honestly, how not hungry I am. I think I'm definitely ahead of where I was last prep, but that doesn't mean I got to slow down. Like, I got to keep moving. Got to bring that fucking conditioning this year, which means attack, attack, attack. Never really slow down. I got one more meal left, and it's basically just two. 210 grams of ground turkey. But yeah, this is like a really simple YouTube video. Uh, just wanted to give you guys like a little rundown of what I've been eating every day. Might have a little more live action videography going in the videos, especially the next one should be a one that a videographer films for me at Muscle Factory. So stay tuned for that. All right, it's super late and I gotta be like really quiet because my girl's sleeping in the other room. So I gotta be like whispering right now. Meal number six. We got right here. 210 grams of turkey with mustard on top. So it's a very simple meal. It's just protein, no carbs. But yeah, that's the last meal of the day. Thank God I remember to pick up the camera and record this because it's super fucking late right now. Hopefully you guys enjoy this full day of eating. I'm gonna be posting another video soon, so stay tuned for that. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.